Welcome back to the call sheet of Revenge of the Sage, Part 1. In this segment, the director's team and the technical crew will be defined. The director department, or the director's team, consists of the director and assistant directors. In Canada, their film union is the Directors Guild of Canada. The director interprets the script and applies the interpretation to all of the creative aspects of the entire project. During pre-production, the director consults and works with all departments, and casts and rehearses with the actors. On set, the director works with the actors and controls the action in front of the camera. The first assistant director is like a general and runs the set. During pre-production, the first assistant director, or first AD, sets and manages the project's shooting schedule. On set, the first works closely with the director and the director of photography and informs the actors and crew what is going to be filmed, when to start filming, and when to move on to the next shot or scene. The first AD determines each day's call time and approves all call sheets. Even and odd pertain to script numbers when filming a TV series. For example, one assistant director will prep and run the set for even-numbered scripts, while another assistant director preps and runs the set when productions film odd-numbered scripts. The second assistant director is in charge of creating the call sheets and distributing them. The second will assist the first AD in directing background performers when required. The second AD also liaises between the set, the production office and the production manager. The third assistant director oversees the actor's paperwork and coordinates the actors going through makeup, hair and wardrobe. The third AD also assists the first and second assistant directors and directs background performers as needed. The trainee assistant director, or TAD, is a learning position and helps the AD department as needed. The script supervisor is also the continuity coordinator. The script supervisor continuity coordinator creates a diary of each day's filming according to motion picture industry standards. The script super is a conduit between the set and the editor. This person tracks and makes sure that dialogue and visual continuity are maintained throughout the project and works closely with camera, sound, props, hair, makeup and wardrobe departments and the actors and director. Script supervisor, apps and software assist with most tasks such as script breakdowns and timing, camera and sound information, editor notes, takes, wild tracks and much, much more. A technical advisor or consultant is an expert in a certain field that offers expert advice to the director and all departments in making a shot or scene or an entire project look and feel authentic. Technical advisors can be experts in medical procedures, police protocols or military battles. Some may consult on the etiquette of a certain time period or on a technique in a sport such as baseball. The camera department is in charge of the visual recording of a motion picture project. The camera department crews work closely with the grip and lighting departments. The camera department's union in British Columbia is the International Cinematographers Guild Local 669. The camera department has three categories of cameras and teams. There are motion picture cameras that record on film, electronic cameras or digital cameras that record on chips, and drone camera teams. The director of photography or cinematographer or the DOP is in charge of all the photography and oversees the camera, grip and lighting departments. They determine the types of cameras, filters, lenses and the number of cameras required per shot. They also determine the movement of the camera and the lighting of every shot. The AOP on this call sheet means A Camera Operator. Camera operators execute the DOP's instructions and actually operate the camera. All cameras used on set are lettered A, B, C or D and so forth. The A camera is always the main camera and stays with the main unit. A steady cam is a type of camera stabilizing mount that isolates the operator's movement from the camera to create smooth motion pictures when going over irregular surfaces such as stairs. The first assistant camera person or first AC is also the focus puller. They are in charge of maintaining the cameras and apply appropriate lenses and filters to the camera. During a shot, they are in charge of maintaining the camera's focus. The second assistant camera person, or second AC, is also referred to as a clapper loader. 
The second AC works under the first assistant camera and is in charge of writing information onto the slate and clapping the slate in front of the camera. They are also responsible for the camera department's reports and paperwork. A digital loader's focus is on data. Digital loaders are in charge of the digital memory cards and work closely with the second assistant camera. They protect and quality check the data, render the media and work with post-production to ensure quality workflow. They make sure every piece of media is stored safely and secured. On smaller crews, a digital loader's responsibilities are sometimes the responsibilities of the digital imaging technician or digital utility technician. The camera utility assists the camera department. Duties may include moving monitors, wrangling cable, and running camera accessories between the cameras, the camera truck, and the set. Sometimes camera production assistants perform similar tasks. A projectionist uses equipment to project motion pictures onto a screen. On set, a projectionist may project images onto a screen as part of a shot or scene, or be in charge of projecting the dailies onto a screen. The camera trainee is a learning position and assists the camera department as required. A digital imaging technician's focus is on color and utilizes a digital color grading station on set. The DIT works with the director of photography to produce the best picture possible. The DIT makes sure that multiple cameras see and record the same color using specialized equipment and often dials the camera's iris to make sure images are not too dim or blown out. Sometimes they also coordinate how the camera framing is to be set up with the DOP and editing team. The digital utility technician works under the digital imaging technician. The utility technician is responsible for transferring images and data from camera and sound cards to hard drives and makes duplicates for safety. The stills photographer takes pictures on set of the action and performers and sometimes behind the scenes. The pictures are used for publicity and marketing. Stills photographers are usually hired by the studio producer or publicist. The computer video playback team is in charge of playback equipment and the recording of image and audio for monitoring and immediate playback in order to review what was just shot. If there is special animation or graphics to be added, a rough edit incorporating all elements may be produced on set. The video assist team is in charge of all the equipment required for the director, script supervisor and select crew to watch and hear exactly what is being recorded. The monitors are usually in a tent or area called Video Village. The lighting department is responsible for lighting the shot and everything electrical. The gaffer or chief lighting technician works closely with the director of photography during production. They decide what lights to order and their placement. The chief also provides the DOP with intensities and lighting ratios. The best boy in the lighting department is also known as the assistant chief lighting technician. They are in charge of the lighting truck, maintaining the equipment inventory and the department's paperwork, ordering lighting equipment and overseeing returns as well as hiring lamp operators according to the needs of the department. The lighting board operator is in charge of running the lighting board, which can be conventional or automated. The lamp operators are also called lighting technicians or electrics. They make up the lighting crew that are in charge of setting up and striking the lights and the temporary power distribution on set. The Jenny Op is short for the generator operator. The Jenny Op is responsible for running, maintaining and the operation of the generators. This person balances the electricity load going to set. The Jenny Op is usually one of the first persons to arrive on set, making sure there is power for departments that work before call time. The set wireman is in charge of wiring all practical lights in front of cameras such as lamps. They also pre-wire scenery, sets and props and work closely with the gaffer and Jenny Op. The rigging crew are in charge of setting up the lighting in advance of the main unit's arrival. For example, they may set up lights in a studio for filming the next day or set up lighting during the day for a night shoot. This team works closely with the main unit's director of photography and gaffer. The grip department is responsible for setting up and operating all equipment that holds or moves the camera, such as mounts, cranes and dollies, and equipment that shapes or diffuses light, such as nets, silks, and flags. They work with non-electrical components on set. 
The grip department works in tandem with the camera and lighting department. The key grip or head of the grip department works with the director of photography to determine the equipment needed to move the camera and manipulate the light for any given shot. The best boy grip is in charge of the grip truck, maintaining an equipment inventory, completing all paperwork, ordering grip equipment and overseeing their returns, and hires grips according to the needs of the department. The dolly grip is a specialty position in the grip department. The dolly grip is in charge of the camera dolly, its setup, the laying down of dolly tracks, and controlling the dolly's movement during a shot. The A and B are letters assigned to the cameras on set. Grips make up the grip department and are experts at camera movement and rigging and shaping light. A lead man grip is a person who does the pre-rigging on set for the shooting crew. The rigging key grip, best boy grip and rigging grips work off set and rig the setter location in advance of the main unit's arrival. They work closely with the main unit's director of photography and key grip. The sound department is in charge of recording audio on sets such as the actor's dialogue, wild dialogue, ambient outside sound and room tone. The mixer or sound mixer is the head of the sound department on set. The mixer is responsible for recording all necessary audio in the best quality possible. They work with the boom operator and other sound department members. The mixer generates sound recording logs and other paperwork for the editor. The mixer also supplies headsets to the director, script supervisor and producers so they can best hear the dialogue while it's recorded. The boom operator or boom op is in charge of microphones and their placement. Boom operators often utilize a boom pole with a microphone on the end. A windsock is placed over the microphone to deaden sounds like the wind blowing or an actor breathing. They are also in charge of placing wireless microphones that attach to clothing called lavaliers or body mics. A cable utility or cable puller is in charge of wrangling the microphone cable so that it's out of the way during moving shots. This can also be done by the sound assistant. A utility sound technician or sound maintenance person supports the sound department by setting up and maintaining audio hardware and resolving any audio problems. The sound assistant is the third member of the sound department and assists the mixer and the boom operator.